Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing an awesome day or night wherever you are. Alright, so I made a video earlier, guys, explaining what are you laughing at me for this time? Oh, I say video. Anyway, but I made a video earlier, guys, explain or showing what I got for uh, for Easter this year. And I did explain about this video that I made the other night. Um What'd you get for Easter? I showed them already. That right there. And some candy, of course. Um, That's ridiculous. What is? The fact that you get something for Easter. Everybody gets candy or some sort. No. Yes. Maybe Easter's for children. Anyway. Anyway. You know so, what time I stopped getting a basket? No. Oh, what time? How old I was? You still get one. Gosh. I'm just playing. Yeah. But I made this video the other day, guys, and... I was watching it the other night, and the first part was great. Like, the first half of the video was great. But then, like, the second half, the last 20 minutes was, like, unsynced. I'm not sure why my mouth didn't sync with the video. I'm not, not exactly sure why. So, we're going to make it again, guys. So, hopefully this one turns out good. Well. Um, but before I make the, or upload the video, I'm going to watch the entire thing and make sure it's good. So, um, but I got a lot of awesome stuff to show you guys. I got some DVDs. I got a ton of DVDs from, from my friend James. He sent me all these DVDs. I got some, two CDs. Um, I got some regular Blu-rays with subcovers and without subcovers. And some 4Ks. I got a nice little stack of 4Ks. But we're going to do the two CDs first, guys. Hmm. Um, well, yeah, let's just do that first. We'll get to the DVDs and the Blu-rays and the 4Ks last, okay? So, what are you doing over there? But anyway, guys. So, I got a lot of awesome stuff. What are you standing before this time? I'm just listening. No, you're not. <laughs> you're being silly. I just want to. But, um, yeah, you're just, you're ready to, you got me confused. You're ready to about to show you guys. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go and do the two CDs first. Now, this one, the first one I'm about to show you guys, I got it off Amazon, and I had no idea it was even out yet, okay? A lot of you guys know I love music. I love country music. It's my favorite genre of music. Um, but I was looking, like I said, on Amazon, and I, I clicked in or typed in Cody Johnson's CD, and this one came up. I'm like, okay, I had no idea it was even out yet, guys. So I love Cody Johnson so much, and Human is my favorite country song country song right now i love it so much so i got cody johnson the human or human the double album guys i've heard some of the first part there's two parts of this cd but i need to watch listen to the second part so here's the songs you get slow down you know what you like human lee no i don't know who that is yes, yeah. I, as i know who that is but I'm um cody johnson the human can we say the human league yes. <laughs> human the, the double album guys love him so much it was on the radio the other day. Yes, I know. All right, next up, I got this at Target a couple weeks ago, and um, I got the first part to this one growing up, and so this one is Getting Old, and that's Luke Combs, his brand new album, Getting Old. Oh my God, I cannot wait to listen to this one. I heard that one of these songs off here, I cannot wait to listen to the whole thing. So I love Luke Combs so much. So yeah, there's Luke Combs, Getting Old, guys. Yeah, Don't all country it. music sound the same? No, they do not. Listen to these right here. They're so different. So different, so different. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So let's go and do my DVDs, guys. You got me confused again. Got my mind off. Okay. Now this one, guys. I've never seen this one, but it's got Tom Berenger in here, Jeff Daniels, and Martin Sheen. They're called Gettysburg. Never seen it. I cannot wait to check it out. It's a long movie, guys. It's 254 minutes. That's a long time. Wow. But I mean, I'll watch it. So I got Gettysburg. It was still, still, which was really nice. Alright, this one is from Clint Eastwood. Never seen this one either. That's Letters of Iwo Jima. Really excited to check it out. Clint Eastwood. So I said clean. Clint Eastwood. Hush. Clint, yes. Um, but really excited to check it out. So there's Letters of Iwo Jima. How old is he? He's, he's, he's in his 90s, 90s yeah. He? He's still writing and directing movies, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, this one, I need to get one more, guys. I have all these movies. So this is the second one out of the series. It's Pirates of the Caribbean at, no, Dead Man's Chest. I got the first one on 4K. I need to get one more out of all of them, guys. I need to watch all these movies. Um, but I haven't never seen these movies before. I've seen, like, a little bit, like, 
like a scene or two here and there, but I need to watch all of these movies, guys. So, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. That's the cover. It's so cool. Look at the silk cover. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. All right. Next one. Now, this one, i never seen it all before. It's got Bruce Willis in it. Um, Tom Skerritt, a movie called Tears of the Sun. I love Bruce Willis. It sucks like he's not uh, acting anymore. He retired because he has a lot of health issues. But it's really sad to check this out. So, got Tears of the Sun. He has a lot of health issues. Yeah, that's why he had to stop acting. So, yeah. What do you mean by a lot? Well, I'm not sure. He's got something health-wise that's wrong with him. I well, can't no, what but it don't is, you but read? No. Uh -uh. Well, then I wouldn't give that information out then. I know. I've heard, like, on, like, the news and stuff that he has health issues. So, yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah. All right, this next movie, guys. Um, I've seen, like, I think a scene or two from this movie, like, on TV. But I've never seen the entire movie. So, I have Patrick Wilson in here. I love him so much. You got Samuel L. Jackson and Kerry Washington. We call Lakeview Terrace. Really excited to watch this one. Uh, I like movies like this, like suspense thriller type movies. So, we got Lakeview Terrace. You might even like that one. I've All right. seen it. You really? You've seen that whole, the whole movie? Yes, Kimberly. Does that shock you? Yes. I haven't seen it. You've seen it? Wow, that's surprising. Yeah, years ago. I wow. Came out 2009, so. All right, this one, I've never seen this one either, but I heard it's pretty funny. That's Howard Stern in Private Parts. Never seen this one. Cannot wait to watch it. So we've got Private Parts. All right, this is number three of the line, guys. I, I need to get the fourth one, I believe. That's, uh, so the next one, guys, is first of the Caribbean at World's End. Like I said, it's number three. So I need to get the fourth one. So first of the Caribbean at World's End. Okay, this one I've never seen. It's got Amanda Bynes in here. Chris Carmack, I love Chris Carmack. So a movie called Love Wrecked. This one uh, looks amazing. So I can let you check that out. So we've got Love Wrecked. Alright, now the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie I have, that's On Stranger Tides. I heard the first three of the best ones, um, but I'm going to watch them all one day, guys. So it's Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? Shoo. Shoo. It's probably the better. What did you say? Someone said that the first three of the best ones, or the, the franchise, of the Pirates of the Caribbean, the first three of the best ones. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Alright, this one, I... Cannot wait to check out. I love these actors. I mean, recipe is Bill Paxton. We lost him way too soon. Uh, so, Bill Paxton, Matthew McConaughey, and Harvey Keitel. I'm going to call you 571. I cannot wait to check it out, guys. Seen it. It's got a really young John Bon, John bon Jovi in here. He's right there. So, yeah, you 571. It's not John Claude Van Damme. Taylor. No, I know that. All right, next up, this has James Franco. I've never heard of this movie before, but it looks really good. Um, it's, it's a movie called Tristan and Isadel. Called what? Tristan and Isadel. Tristan. Tristan and Isadel. Oh, Tristan. Yes. Sorry, I didn't hear. All right, next one. I've never seen this one, but it looks actually pretty interesting. It's got Peter O'Toole and a movie called Augustus. Okay, pretty interesting. It was Augustus. If you didn't, I'll stop that. It's Paul. I know, but. Shh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now this one I've seen like on TV before. I've never seen the entire movie. I know he has it. And he's seen it before. Um, let's go, Bill Murray in here. Uh, John Candy, Harold Ramis, and uh, Warren Oates. Right? I've seen it. A few yeah, times. that's Stripes. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to check this all the way through, yeah, guys. This is real sorry. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the Stripes guys. Harold's in it. I said that Harold Ramis, John Candy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, this one, I don't need anymore because I got the Blu-ray off of Amazon a while back. That's, of course, a good one to Vietnam with Robin Williams. I really good things about this one. Cannot wait to watch this one. Yeah, that movie's about trust. Yeah, so we got Good Morning in Vietnam. Yeah. All right, this one, I've never seen either, guys. I know a lot of these I've never seen before. Um, it's like one of this one. Only one of this stack I've seen. So, yeah. All right, we got Basic Instinct with Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas. I'm really excited to, to check this one out. Um, I love Cradle Traction, so I cannot wait to check this one out. So, we got Basic Instinct. This one, I've heard it's really, really funny. It's got Bill Murray and Richard Dreyfuss in here. And that's What About Bob? I'm really excited it. to check it out. This one looks hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Man, so, he is a freaking nuisance. I'm going to be watching this one soon, guys. <laughs> Bill Murray. I might watch this one first Bob. before I watch all these other ones. So, yeah. You know what I liked him in? No. Caddyshack. Caddyshack, me too. Me too. Oh, God, that was freaking hilarious. All right, this one I've seen, but it's been years I've seen this movie. And I, when I first watched it, I thought it was hilarious. It's got Seth Green, Matthew Lillard, and Jack Shepard in a movie called Without a Paddle. 
Cannot wait to check this out again. It's been a long time since I've seen this one. I mean, it came out in 2004, so it's been that long, guys. So, yeah, without a paddle. Cannot wait to check it out again. All right, this one, I cannot wait to check out either. Um, what? I am excited to watch these well, movies. Well, why don't you just do this? Why don't you just say at the beginning, these are the movies that I haven't seen, and then that would, so that would solve. I know that. All that extra but time But I like talking like that, okay? Shoot. All right, this one... Like, it comes on TV sometimes. Well, it doesn't really come on TV anymore. But I have seen, like, bits and pieces of this one. That's because the toy with um, Richard that... Pryor and Glad Jackie Gleason. This yeah. one, Lexi, looks, looks really funny. So. I haven't seen that on TV. It came on TV before? Yes, it has. <laughs> Years ago. Years ago. Years ago, yes. You know but... the story? Yes, I do. You sure? Yes, I do. Well, don't tell me about it. Shoot. No, I've seen it. The toy, guys. It looks hilarious. Good. I love Jackie Gleason, anyway. Richard Pryor. I love them so much. All right, this one, it's got they're Rob both, Schneider. They both passed away. I know that. That's why I said I loved him so much. They're, they were amazing. Uh, plays you Jack Leeson and one of my favorite comedies ever. And I said, Horace, Smoking the Bandit. Oh, my God. I love that movie so you much. Yeah, I, I love that movie so much. It's hilarious. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a funny dude. All right, this one, guys, it's got Rob Schneider. Snyder. What are you saying Schneider for? Snyder. <laughs> and that's got the hot chick, guys. It's got Anna Ferris in here. She's right there. But this one looks hilarious. So I love Rob Schneider anyway. So we've got the hot chick. All right, this one, is, of course, is going to 4K this year, guys. But I'm going to check out the DVD first. And if I like it, I might upgrade to 4K. But that's the Truman Show with Jim Carrey. Heard really good things about this one. So we've got the Truman Show. It's got Ed Harris in here as well, right there. So yeah, the, the Truman Show. Have you seen this? No, I think so. Maybe oh. sometime back. Right. But okay. I say think so because. Yeah, I probably did on cable. That came out. Did that come out like in the nineties? Um, the Truman Show. Ninety nine. So yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay, moving on to my Blu-rays, guys. I'll get the ones without some cars first. Now this one my dad got me at Best Buy a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's three ninety nine at Best Buy, guys. Three ninety nine, and it's a Tim Burton film. It's called Ed Wood. It's got Johnny. Oh, I say Johnny Cash. Lord. Uh, um. Uh. What's his freaking name? Giant oh, Johnny Depp. Good Lord. Johnny Depp, guys. But this one looks amazing. So I cannot wait to check it out. Uh, so we've got Ed Wood. Couldn't pass that for three ninety nine. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't know what I said Johnny Cash for. Oh, anyway, uh, my mind somewhere else, I guess. I don't know. But um, this one, I cannot wait to check out. Okay? I'd always catch it on TCM, like toward the middle, toward the end. I cannot wait to check it all the way through, guys. It's got George C. Scott on here, in here and Carl Malden in a movie called Patton. Really excited to try and finally have this in my collection and finally have a chance to send and watch it all the way through. So we got Patton, guys. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to check it out. I'll be watching that one soon, guys. I promise you. You know, I was always surprised that when he did that movie with Drew Barrymore. Firestar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That? That's a good movie. That? I got it right here. So, yeah, he yeah. was an evil SOB. Yeah, that's a good movie, though. I like that one. Yeah, it is a very good it's movie. It's amazing. Yeah. I don't know so, why it still holds up, but it does. It's got a really, really, really... You sorry, said Drew Barrymore. She was really young there. Um, but she wasn't she, as young as she was in E.T., so... Oh, no. Yeah, no, E.T. That, was, that was probably one her of her first movies, first. I believe. I don't know. I, I want to say she probably did some commercials or something. Yeah, but I think E.T. was her first movie. So, from the night... That's a good movie, too. I love E.T. All right, next one, guys. Um, I got this the same day I got the um, Cody Johnson CD. I saw it. And it's like five ninety nine. Okay, I've never owned this movie. I like it. Um, and that's of course Signs Guys from Midnight Shyamalan with a very young Joaquin Phoenix, Camille Gibson, and of course Abigail Breslin. She's right there. Uh, I need to watch this. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, but uh, when I first saw it, I first saw it, I actually enjoyed it. So I need to get um, Sixth Sense. I don't, have, I don't have that one yet, but uh, we've got Signs Guys. Yeah, I need to. I need. I need to. I need to see that again too to see if I have a different perspective because yeah. the first time I saw it. I thought there was just a lot of slow in it. I like it. No, I, I didn't say I didn't oh, no. like it. I'm just saying, you know, you can't fault me. You can't fault me for... I know that. You know, thinking maybe it was slow in a lot of areas. I know. But, um, yeah, I thought the story was pretty cool. I liked it. All right, guys. There's all my Blu-rays with my subcovers. Go to my subcovers, okay? Now, this one came out, and of course, how to get it. Because I get, I get every every A24 film. And I've heard really good things about this one. It's got Brandon Fraser, of course, his comeback role. And you got a Golden Glow for this movie. And that's, of course, The Whale, guys. Like I said, A24. Really excited to check it out. I haven't watched it just yet, but heard really good things about this one. So, yeah, I've got The Whale, guys. You know, one movie real quick, one of his earlier movies. I didn't even know this. You remember the movie? Was it, wasn't it With Honors? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, and yeah. it's got uh, it's got Joe mm -hmm. Pesci. Joe Pesci, in it, yes. In it as well. Yeah, that's a I'm good one, to guys. Who also, the girl that played in the 
that skating movie. Oh, I can't think. Airborne. No, not Airborne. Oh, I don't know. The other skating with with DB uh, Sweeney. Mm. He's a hockey player, and she's oh, a, with, she um, wants, she's she's hold on. competing. But I can't remember her the name. The Cutting Edge, guys. Yeah, check it out. Uh, with Honors is absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, it's amazing. It's, oh. it's hard. It's, it's very hard to watch, especially toward the end, but what's, it's amazing. What's the, what's the young guy that played in it? Uh, Patrick Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey, yeah. He's also in it. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's a very that's good, a good movie. One, that's guys. a movie that probably a lot of people... I think I think a couple of years ago I, I wanted to get that on Blu-ray. Yeah. But I, I don't think it's, it's ever just released, DVD. which I don't understand, but yeah. uh, it is a very good movie. All right, next up, guys. I got this at Walmart a couple weeks ago. and uh, It's kind of sad. Yeah, it's a good one, though. Mm -hmm. All right, this one, they're doing these like special subcovers because, you know, John Wick 4 is out. <coughs> and uh, I've never owned this movie, but I know you get it on 4K. But I thought the subcover was really cool. It's 750 at Walmart. It's a movie called The Protégé. It's got Mackie Q in here. Uh, Michael Keaton, Mega Q, and Samuel L. Jackson. So, the, the regular cover underneath. But uh, I heard really good things about this one. So, I had to pick it up. Check out the protege. Still cover. So cool. So, I had to pick it up. Our last one was what I subcover. Or what a subcover, guys. We're getting my 4Ks, okay? Now, this one, I have every. I need two more, I think, Diamond Edition ones. I have them all, guys. So, I got Peter Pan, guys. Beautiful stuff on this one. Um, I need 101 Dalmatians. I think there's one more. I need to have every single one of them. So, I love this movie. It's classic for a reason. Peter Pan is amazing. So, yeah, how do you get that one, guys? Yeah. My dad let me get it off of eBay. So, it's awesome. For $7.99, Slipcar is mint. So, can't go wrong with that. What? All right. So I'm getting my 4Ks, okay? Now, first one up, I um, watched this a, like, a, like a week ago, guys. And we went to Best Buy. Um, like, what? Like, Two three weeks ago, and I got this one. He let me get it. Um, it's a 25th anniversary edition, and that's of course the Prince of Egypt. Oh my God, this movie is um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, if you like the Ten Commandments with, of course, Charlton Heston, you will like this one. It's a lot shorter version of that movie, but it is so good. I really enjoyed it when I first time watching it. Um, I can see myself watching it again. Perfect movie to watch around Easter time. It's just absolutely amazing. So look at that cool. It's gorgeous as well too, like gold. But um, yeah, Prince Man, of Egypt, guys. That is one. Long, yeah, I was talking about that in my video earlier. Yeah, wow, it's amazing. It's yeah. almost four hours long, it's nine minutes from being four hours long, but it's so well done. So well done. I like the fact they even give you an intermission, an yeah, intermission. I yeah. mean, it's so long. And there's quite a few movies that are like that, yeah, but it's so yeah. all right. This one, but you don't need that. I mean, it's a joke, right? I know, you pause it, right? And, I know, you know, and go right. resume. So. This movie, okay, press resume. I've seen it twice. All right. <laughs> I don't like this movie. I don't like this movie. But it's the first time in 4K. The subcover just sold me over. Okay. I knew how to get it for the subcover. Um, I haven't watched the 4K transfer of this movie yet. That's of course the text, the text of Saints on Master, guys. Like I said, I've seen this movie two times and I do not get the hype behind this movie. I don't, I don't, don't understand it. But the 2003 remake is my absolute favorite out of the franchise. Can I say something about yeah, that? Yeah, go ahead. You know what? I appreciate that mu movie because it was a very low budget. Um, there was not a lot of money. Well, I'm listening to this. And uh, I thought I thought it was. Yeah, I actually yeah. thought it was a really good story. I really did. I just didn't think that it it. How do you how do I say it? It seeing it as a movie, being like a you know the, when they're writing you know yeah. when they when they're writing it. Yeah, or after it was uh, written or whatever, and then seeing it, I just think there's so much that you have to. There's so much build up. Yeah. To that, you know, the ending. It's, it's, it's to the ending, and right. And, and then, of course, like you always get into the one thing I always get into, and I know you get. I, I, it's that scene with the when they come up on that on that house. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, if I was in that situation back then at that age, and I saw what they did. Before going into that, I would um, never, I would have never entered yeah. this. And by the way, that's not a good idea anyway. <laughs> Especially it's not the one thing I've always said to you for years out in the country, you just don't walk in somebody's right, house, right? Exactly. Because I guarantee you one thing, they do have guns. Yeah. So, but, but anyway, that's set aside. Yes, the the, the the fact, the writing, and also the, the time because that movie came out in 1974. I'm trying to make this real quick. In 1974, it clearly, probably, more than likely, I'm sure it did, it had more of a shock value 
yeah. than it does today. And then you always get into, does that movie hold up today? Nope. And I say no, and I still like the movie, and I, I respect it, and I appreciate it for, for, for what I said earlier. But just sitting and watching it again, yeah. I don't want to see it necessarily in 4K. We will watch it. But anyway, yeah, there have I, I clearly think, and some people probably don't agree, I think there's been other clearly better Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, yeah. Like Later you said, 2003 ones, Remake is my favorite out of franchise. What's, your, so. what, what's the name of the one that I like with that guy? It's a 3D one. 3D? Yeah. Yeah, that's the girl that yeah. she ends up, yeah. she ends up living. Yeah, that is, uh, it's the, she's, it's what niece. is she? She's a niece or something yeah, like the, Yeah, yeah. her that's grandmother good, left her the estate. Yeah. It's a nice place. It's pretty cool. So yeah, but so the point is that there are there are other ones that I like. So yeah, you know, but you know, uh, so the um, original cover under these guys right here, like the Stillbook has. So that's pretty cool. So well, to me, the first um, couple ones are kind of painful. Yeah, especially the They're second really one. Really painful. Yeah. And isn't there one with real quick? Isn't there one with um, what's her name, the blonde girl? Um, oh, yeah, I said two thousand three. What's that's Kabil? Yeah. Yeah. No. That's a blonde oh, girl. There's a blonde headed girl. Uh, oh God, I can't think. I can't think of her name. Sorry about that. All right, guys. Next up, I got this at Best Buy a couple, like like three weeks ago. It was on sale for 19.99, and I'm so glad he was let me. He let me pick it up when I did because a couple days later we backed up to 30.99. That's of course the Fableman's guys on 4K. Finally picked this up. I heard really really good things about this one. This of course is directed by Steven Spielberg, written in, written by Steven Spielberg and Tony Kushner, but um, it's got. Uh, Paul Dano in here, of course, Seth Rogen's in here as well, and Michelle Williams, but I'll be watching this one soon, guys. So, yeah, The Fablemans, I'm really excited to watch that one. Heard nothing but good things. So, all right, next up, I got this because I saw Moose and Sue pick it up at her Best Buy, and I'm like, okay, please not, let mine have mine, or have a copy as well. I had three at mine, and he's got the still book when it came out, the 4K still book. So, and I've never seen this movie all the way through, guys. I know it's really bad, but of course, the, Blue, the Blues Brothers with John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. I cannot wait to watch this one. Be watching this one, hopefully, sometime yeah, this week, guys. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. They have yeah. to raise money. Oh, never mind. Shh. I don't, I never seen and it. And they Shh. have to bring their band. Never mind. Sorry. I want, we can watch it together. Right, so, I we got the Blues anything. Brothers. I won't, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help out. It, I, you haven't seen that? No. Oh my God! It's got some, some of it on it, TV. It has some hilarious scenes in yeah. it. Yeah, it's very fine. We'll watch it together. Yeah. All right, it's, this it, one. It's popular. This one, I cannot believe I saw the Best very Buy. Popular, so. Oh my God! I'm so excited. I love this saga, and this slipcover is like really hard to find. It's like you can really find it on eBay. It's really it's like it says it's out of print, hard to find, blah blah. blah. But I got it for eighteen dollars at Best Buy, and that's of course at Twilight, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited to finally to finally found find this with some cover. It's pretty cool. So, and I do like this movie. Of course, Eclipse is my favorite out of the saga, but they're all pretty good movies. So I'm so glad to finally have this one and add it to the collection. So I know you can get the Best Buy or the um, the Target exclusive Silver has all three or all five of them on 4K, but uh, I want the sub covers. So hopefully one day we get them all with sub covers. That'd be really cool. So we got Twilight. Wasn't Matthew McConaughey in the third one, or was that the fourth one? The fourth one. Are you talking about, you talking about Renee Zellweger? Is that what the yeah. one you're talking about? It's the fourth one, the next generation one. Yeah, see? It was terrible. I thought it was Witherspoon. I don't know why I was thinking it was Witherspoon. Yeah. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> that was the one where they got the direction. Remember that's not the, the same one. Oh, that's the third. That's that the third, third one. one. Yeah, it's not yeah, the same one. the third one. But uh, that was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're all pretty bad, but yeah, that next the next generation one is. Mm, mm. All right, next up, guys. I saw this at Best Buy. It had one copy left, and I love this movie. I've never owned this movie, but um, that's Eight Mile Guys. Eight Eminem, Kim Basinger, Michelle Fi Michelle, <laughs> Brittany Murphy, Recipes. Oh my God, and Mackay Pfeiffer. This is an amazing movie. I haven't seen it in such a long, long time, but I've never seen. I haven't checked out a 4K transfer yet, but. Um, one of my favorite biopics. I love Eight Miles so much. So well, you do realize a lot of that movies in the well. Never mind. I was going to say a lot of the scenes are dark. So. I'm going to check. I'm still going to check it out, guys. All right, final movie in this update, guys. Okay, well, we watched this one, but in my opinion, the first one is better. So it's, the first one's better to me, but this one was very, very enjoyable. And that's of course Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. I do like the ending, the messaging to this movie, and I like how they did the comic book style animation to this one. But, um, like I said, the first one is better, but this is a really, really, really good sequel. So, um, yeah, put some boots, The Last Wish, guys. Love the slipcover on that one. The slipcover on that one. So, yeah, really did enjoy that one. So.
I liked the one we watched a couple nights ago. It, oh, mid nineties. We watched mid nineties. My first time watching it, guys. Blown away how good that movie is. Of course, I was Jonah Hill's writ or directorial debut, and uh, he knocked it out of the park with that movie, guys. And it's from A twenty four, so that's pretty cool. So highly recommend eight or ninety. I can't talk because you're in here. Uh, um, mid nineties, guys. Mid nineties, wow. yeah. Yeah, phenomenal. And and the thing that you have to remember too, there's some very graphic language in there. But it's all kids, and kids are yeah. so. Oh my god, I love movies when it's just kids because they do a, such a phenomenal job. Um, but especially in that movie, it's well, so the thing, good. The thing, the thing I found so unique, real quick, not to go on, they all basically had something in common. Yeah, and it was their home structure, right? To a certain degree, mm -hmm. so they had a lot in common. But yeah, uh, yeah, but really I thought, enjoyed. And I thought I, I liked the ending. I thought the ending yeah. was pretty cool. I very well liked done. A little more the ending. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, it was very interesting. Enjoyed you know, it. it is kind of interesting how you're drawn to something like that. Yeah, so. You know, with children acting like that. Because I think they were all the first, weren't they all? Yeah, I've never seen any of those I don't think yeah. any more any staff. No, I've never they? seen them before, so. Yeah, I never. Unless they're in a movie I just didn't know they were in, so. But, yeah. um, the little boy that plays Steven, oh my God. Stevie. Yeah, Stevie, sorry, yeah, Stevie, phenomenal. Yeah. But they're all good in their own ways, so, mm -hmm. um, but. All right, guys, those are all my movies for the month. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I actually did my makeup again today, guys. So I'm going to talk about what's on my face if you're, if you're interested in um, trying these products out. And I did, I did try a new eyeshadow palette today, guys. And I don't know how I, how I feel about it. It's kind of eh. It's kind of okay. Uh, not my favorite. I just wanted to try it out and see if I liked it. But I'm going to try it out a few more times. But for right now, I don't know if I feel, how I feel about it. But all right, for my primer today, guys, it's my favorite time I'm using right now. And this is Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Matte Face Primer. Love this stuff so much. Oh, my God. Love it to death. It's phenomenal. Um, wish it was a little bigger, too, but it's amazing. So this is what it looks like, guys. Yeah, Wet n Wild, uh, Photo Focus face armor it's the matte version so i guess it's the only version they make of that is the matte version but i love it okay so for my under my um primer or my, about my primer guys i finally tried this one um this is my third time trying it oh my god i love this stuff so much and it's the elf halo glow fil liquid filter in the shade um shade three light medium oh my god i'm in love with this stuff it's phenomenal it is so good um, and, uh, I'm so glad I finally found this one and w was able to use it, but I really recommend it, guys. And like I said, in the shade three, uh, shade, th shade three, light medium, guys, elf, halo glow, halo glow li liquid filter. You can use it on, under your makeup or on top, but, um, uh, highly recommend it, guys. Elf, halo glow. Yes. Look, li liquid filter. Love it so much. All right. For my concealer today, guys, I love this stuff. I've been using, this is my fourth. Fourth or fifth time trying this. So what weld? Mangalas Incognito shade in the shade Light Honey. Light Honey? Yeah. But this is amazing. I love this stuff. So Incognito from Wet n Wild, guys. The Mega Last in the shade Light Honey. Love it. Alright. For my powder, guys. I've been using this for like nonstop. I love this powder so much. It's from Rimmel. It's her Stay Matte on the shade Sandstorm, guys. It is amazing. Look at that, guys. So good. I use it so many times. I <laughs> I haven't even hit pan on it yet, but uh, beautiful powder, by the way. And it's so inexpensive, like less than $3 at Walmart. So, yeah, there's a Rimmel Stay Matte and the Shade Sandstorm, guys. All right, this one I found at, this is my blush for today, guys. I found this at Dollar Tree. And it's actually a Dollar General brand, which is really nice. And it's a Bleed Beauty uh, blush and the, Born, and the shade Born to Blush. And I guess it's called Wink, I guess. But uh, beautiful um, blush, guys. It's so pretty. I love the packaging of this. But you only need just a little because it's really pigmented, guys. But uh, I've used it like four or five times and loved it. So, yeah, there's that, guys. Okay. For my highlighter today, guys, I just wanted to try something different. I've been trying that CoverGirl one for three times. I freaking love it. But I, got, I bought this one uh, like a couple weeks ago at Walmart's. Finally tried this one. I've heard good things about this one. It's Wet n Wild. Um, it's the Blush Highlighter Duo and the shade Highlight Bling. This is beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at that glow. Um, but it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so it looks like so freaking pretty, guys. Yeah, I am so glad I finally found this one. So it's so Wet n Wild Halo, Hello Halo Blush Highlighter Duo and the Highlight Bling, guys. Gorgeous. 
All right, so for my inner corner highlight right here and my brow bone, I have this Vivid Baked Highlighter from Mega Revolution in the shade Gilded Golden Lights, guys. And it actually broke on me, so um, I had to take it off. kind of broke on me, but how beautiful that is. It's like a nice gold sheen to it, but I've had this at, from in my collection for a while. I got it at Ulta many, many years ago and freaking love it. So, yeah, there's that, guys. Okay, so here's the eyeshadow palette I've been using, or I tried today. It's just okay. It's from LA Girls, or LA Colors, um, Berry Kiss. It's just very patchy, especially the, um, brown color, but I won't use it again, um, but it's just okay. It's not the best. It's not really that pigmented, um, but, uh, um, it's okay. So, there's that, guys. Okay, um, so for my... Mascara. I've been using the Wet n Wild one, but I wanted to use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise once again. This is in the shade Black is Black. I love this stuff so much. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise is one of my absolute favorite mascaras. I love it so much. It's so amazing. You just like one coat and you've got it. You're done. You're done. So yeah, there's that, guys. All right. So for my foundation, I should have done this earlier, guys. But I've been using this for like ever, guys. I love this foundation so freaking much it's like set less than six hours at walmart it's the wet and wild photo focus one it's in the, the dewy version this is in the shade buff bisque love this stuff love this stuff it's amazing i got a nice little spatula it's well loved guys don't ignore the mess but it's well loved it's got a nice spatula to it but um i love this stuff to death so there's a wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade buff bisque and then for my lips today i just use lip gloss today um uh, this is the wet and wild um, Wet n Wild Mega, Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Berry Treasure in a nice little pink color. Love it so much. I've been using it like four or five times now. Yeah, love it. All right, then for to blend everything out on my face, like my foundation, my Halo Glow and stuff, I, I found these sponges at the Dollar Tree. I saw Juicy Jazz talk about these. And I'm going to link her down below, guys. She's awesome. But I got a pack of two, and then that's what they look like. They're really nice and bouncy once you get them wet, but I love these things. They blend your out their foundation out with like a dream. Like it's just like it's like airbrush. It's so well. It's so good. I love these things. I mean, you can get two sponges for a dollar twenty-five, and I used to get the Royal Techniques ones for like six bucks. But I love these, and you got a little nice little um, edge here for your um, concealer as well. Love these so much. I mean, they're just amazing, amazing. But, um, anyway, guys, that's everything I have on my face today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, my whole entire video. But, um, let me know you think my, um, uh, face today, guys. Just natural. But, um, natural. But, um, just simple. But, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, nothing too over the top. But, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below to think about pickups. And, uh, let me know what you picked up for the month of March, guys. Anything awesome. Anything, anything, any new makeup you would like me to try. Please let me know, guys. And I am ser seriously think considering on making another video or another channel for just my makeup stuff because I don't want to keep adding makeup content to this channel. Uh, because so, this is tricks on my makeup, my movies and music channel, guys. But uh, I really am considering that. So, but anyway, guys, like I said, make sure to like this video. Make sure to comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Share this video around if you would. And I guess I'll try to guys later. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Bye.